ones, my real 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 ones,
um, at first, you know, I'm not, I'm not covering no nigga doing no clock chasing shit. Like, I'm not finna get this nigga no extra fucking press. But at this point, this is a good example of what the rap game will do to you. Um, dog, you're, you're on Front Street at all time. Everybody knows about everyone else's career. Um, once you've been put out there, like, uh, you saw one incident he got into with this nigga, uh, Trav, um, and the first thing the nigga brought up was, um, your career did this. You know what I'm saying? He talked to, uh, J. Prince Jr. And he said, uh, I got in the game by myself. Uh, pointing out that J. Prince Jr. got in because of what his daddy did and shit like that. Um, everybody's watching everything. You understand? And this is the time in which a person... When you get into a, a, a situation with a person, they'll bring it out. Just like in real life, you know, we know things about people around our city and, and or, or different situations, maybe our homeboys and shit like that, but we don't bring that shit out. And that's why a person would say, if you want to know how a motherfucker really feel about you, make them mad. And then they'll tell you exactly what it is. But even with that, the truth comes to Young Chop. Young Chop was a big producer uh, when the um, Chief Keith drill wave first started, he was the producer behind uh, Chief Keith and shit like that. But because those niggas were exactly what the industry execs wanted, just dumb young niggas, it was meant for them to separate. Everybody's gonna separate because that money, the fame is gonna get to a motherfucker head. And now we get to see what type of motherfucker Chop really is. And it's just, dog, it's scary. It's scary seeing how similar he is to niggas I've encountered in life. It's like, damn, it's really like energy. Energy. Like, it's a, a motherfucker, like, you know how a motherfucker. You might know a motherfucker that look like a motherfucker in Minnesota. Like you on a job or some shit like that and you from Daphne. You go to Missouri uh, to do a job and shit like that. And you see a motherfucker that look just like the nigga you went to school with. It's like, damn, how how is it that you can look that much like a nigga this far away and not be kin to him? But And then I feel it's the same way with energy. Like... If you're someone who's traveled, you understand this more than anybody. Like a trucker, um, there's only pretty much, and if I'm sure if I sat down and, and, and thought about it, I can make it within 10 categories of energies. Like, you know, it's the nigga who, you know, sit back and instigate shit. It's the nigga who, you know, uh, real out there, but he only out there because he got a whole bunch of niggas behind him. Then it's the cool nigga, the solo nigga who just don't be with all that bullshit. It's the smoker, it's the junkie. You know what I'm saying? There's different personalities, but especially in the street, like you can see a nigga, you can be from Mobile, from Baldwin County and go to Atlanta and a nigga try to hit you with something and you might not know the play that he running, but you can tell by his energy and his body language, he about to do something deceptive. He about to do something nefarious. Because you've seen that energy before. Um, and this is what I'm seeing in Young Chop, man. It, this this whole, I, I'm going around, and, and, and that's why I put the uh, video clip at the beginning. When he's in this fucking Walmart, uh, probably in a shopping cart, a uh, shopping cart, a, a fucking wheelchair cart, rolling around because he's so fucking fat. Um, and that probably got a lot to do with why the fuck um, he's out here like this. You know what I'm saying? Like he really don't like what he see in the mirror, but he probably get on that dope and and now nah, like fuck that shit. I and and he'll put that shit in the back of his mind just like a bitch wheel. You have to be a lieutenant. We'll get back to the video in just a second. I need to talk to y'all. Look. If you're trying to call in during the Monday Night Live on the Big Facts Podcast every Monday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, you have to be a lieutenant. You cannot just be a patron. You have to be a lieutenant. 
I set the Patreon up in such a way that no matter if you are at the bottom of the bottom, you can still see all the unreleased shit. You can still see the early releases, the exclusive series. I know how to spot a nab, how to spot a nab, um, uh, three ways to identify nothing ass bitch by kids, all this shit. All you have to do is you can pledge a dollar. But if you're trying to actually call in during the live stream, if you're trying to have a say so on what we talk about during the live stream, you have to be a lieutenant. Put a wig on, put a waist trainer on, put a whole bunch of makeup on and act like the world is supposed to treat you like you bad, but it's like, bitch, no, you just a ugly hoe with a wig a whole bunch of face paint and a waist trainer. And I'm gonna see that as soon as I get you to the house. And that's why a bitch changes her whole mindset. A nothing ass bitch changes her whole mindset after you fucked her. Because now she feel like you know her secret. So that's what, like, so now she feel, well, that's a whole nother conversation. But it, 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 it's, it's, lame as fuck when a, a nigga has those same characteristics like my nigga you know that you're not happy with yourself instead of you going and dealing with that going in isolation and dealing with that as I think about it maybe a nigga could do that if he wasn't in the industry this industry the rap trap is always telling you go out go out go out go out go out go 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 work 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 with this internet shit this is where our, our all of our issues start right here how do you promote yourself in 2020 you beef with a nigga it's an old fucking you know this is the oldest trick in the book you know um we've seen artists get fame off of it you know the most successful of those will be 50 cent maybe the most uh notable will be 50 cent uh coming out the gate with the uh how to rob shit and um going at everybody in the industry and at that time it was so like how the fuck can you go against the gods of hip-hop fuck is up with this nigga so it makes us look at them and then street niggas like yeah fuck that you know what i'm saying like that i'm gonna take some shit from a nigga um so he was the gangsters champion um and it worked for him but then you have everybody trying to do that trying to do that trying to do that and then as an artist on defense a motherfucker come at you like that and it's like your only recourse is to now prove to the people that you are what you say you are that model that parasitic model that destructive model is exactly why you know I I, I believe that model came is is a is a direct branch off of the Willie Lynch theory that shit came out of the fucking book that is a uh, a cousin of the Willie Lynch theory. The bring a nigga down so I can come up. That is the fucking physical form of <coughs> crab in a bucket. That is the physical form of crab in a bucket mentality. You out of the fucking bucket and now, since everybody's looking at you, I'm gonna pull you down so I can come up. And then as soon as I come up, I don't understand why motherfuckers is trying to come up off of me. Yo, what, what, what you got going on, man? But see, so it's not so much, so I wasn't coming to rescue, you know, 21 Savage when he was coming at 21 Savage and shit like that. Um, because this is, this is how he came up. Like saying, you niggas that's on top is pussies. You, you niggas is fuck niggas. You're not really about this shit like this. That is how we work. We work by bringing a nigga down. If you take...
if you take the negative, I don't want to say negative. If you take the um, the uh, if you take me talking about another nigga out of rap today, you don't have no songs. This whole rap shit is about talking about the niggas in the industry. It's, it's, it's got to the point where it's not even talking about niggas in the street. I'm talking about rappers. This is how the whole, this is how this whole evolution came. Like, it's bad to be a rapper. I get paid from rapping. I'm a rapper, but I'm going to show the people that I don't fuck with rappers. You don't make a song talking about how, how uh, you friends with all the rappers. That's not how you get on. You talk about how you don't fuck with these rap niggas. That's how you win because niggas understand that the power doesn't lie with the rappers. It lies with the people. Um, and so now, as soon as you reach a certain level of success, the rapper that's coming up from the street who has to be in the street, um, he can say that this rapper is not what he say he is because I'm really in the street. These niggas not really in the street. And this has been done time and time again in every city all the fuck over. You not really in the street. I'm really in the street. And then the nigga get up there to uh, the success level and now another nigga come up and say the same fucking thing. And then he don't do shit for the city, bro. He don't do shit for it, bro. And that's just how the shit go. Uh, Mo3 said, and the reason that is, shot to Mo3, um, Mo3 said, um, they they want you to win until you win. So the niggas in the street, they all for you. Oh, man, I fuck with you, man. They'll buy a CD as long as you're right here with them. But as soon as you get to where they say they want you to be, oh, that nigga, that nigga went Hollywood, bro. That nigga. So, you know, the rap trap, the model of the rap trap was constructed off of the streets, seeing how insane the street was, only because they poisoned us. We never recovered from them dropping that coke down on us like that. We never recovered from that. They put the coke down first, then they put the guns down so that we would have a way to um, help them, obviously, but we, we would have a way to... Um, live out our insanity you know what i'm saying we, we, now we can actually do some damage you know what i'm saying and, and wipe ourselves out so they don't have to come in with the national guard and shoot us up and shit like that we'll do it ourselves so years later you know what i'm saying it has evolved to this point to where now a person like the white boy from um uh noisy how he go in motherfuckers traps and shit like that uh that white boy can get in a police officer car and then walk out here with the niggas and niggas, oh, what up, bro? Let me tell you about this right here, man. Shit, you know. And we don't see nothing about that, but they've been doing shit like that. They've been doing experiments. They've been doing social experiments, seeing exactly how we move, um, what this stimulant would do to this person, how the effects down the line. We're going to put uh, PCP on this block and let's see how it affects uh, three blocks down. Never doing those experiments in, in places where it matters. Put it down here with the animals. So much so that they, they look at us like we just smart monkeys. Oh, they know how to wipe their asses. Look at that. Oh, look how they, oh, this, they have great fashion sense. Oh, look at how well they play sports if you train them well enough. We're pretty much... Um, fuck do you call that shit man um i hate this shit what's the word we are blank pits the word is, is a synonym for um honorable uh on like an honorable mention we're just, and it's on the tip of my tongue, we're just, um, not complimentary, we're just, hi, 
high fashioned pants, not high fashion. Damn, now that's fucking crazy, dog. Weird gist. I gotta leave it alone. I can't waste too much time. I damn sure wanna find that word, dog. Mm. But that's what we are to them. Which is pretty much like um, a step above, you know, pits and shit like that. Um, this is why they feel they need to give us, well, the, the, the females um, of our race, they feel like they need to give them um, money and shit like that. Because, of, of course, um, they can't make their own money. We have to pay for them to live and pay for them to eat. What would they do if we didn't give them that? It'd be chaos. Plus the fact they're, they're doing our job for us. Pay them. And I, I broke all that down and shout out to Ken Dio for animating that and that's on the Patreon also. But what I'm saying is that they, they based the rap trap model off of the streets. They saw how insane the street is as far as instead of us it's like a prison. If the inmates were only united, uh, they can see that it's the, the prison that have us in these situations and, and with these bad conditions and shit like that. Um, but instead, we'll find a reason to kill the person that's going through the same thing we're going through. As in the street, we'll be for the next door neighbor and all that shit like that when it's the uh, police officers and Sometimes, well, you know, with, with this, all these fucking videos I've gotten about police officers playing dope, um, just being extremely violent, you know, the police chief, the governor, the mayor, instead of us going at them, and I, I believe that's by design, they can't afford for us to see that they're the one fucking us over, so they have to keep us fighting, you know, $1,200, you know what I'm saying, keep us, you know, with that bullshit so we can't see that 5G is really the issue. Radiation poison is what's going on. Don't, um, I gotta say that quick on the video so they don't take it out. But, um, you know, same thing in the music industry. Every artist comes to a point in their career where they understand, um, that it's the label heads that are the real issue. Um, it's the business, you know what I mean? Um, signing this deal is where the mistake was made. You know, it's not about this rapper or that rapper, but this game, this, this, uh, for some reason I want to say, uh, it's not the right word, but I want to say, pilothon? Pilothon? This arena that they put us in, um, this is the issue. Um, only putting savages into this arena to where all you have to do is get us in close proximity and we're going to find a reason to beef. They know that because they've seen it work with neighborhoods. We're going to tear down this hood on purpose just so that these people have to move over there and we're going to tear down their hood so that now they have to go to the same place that they went. And we're going to prove that the location isn't the problem. It's the people. So then when it comes time to choose who lives, who dies, and who's uh, a slave, of course we're going to choose the animals. We're going to choose the animals. They share the same struggle. This everything that's going on in his house is going on in his house. In his house, we know this because when we listen to artists and comedians, and they talk about their where they come from, the reason why we fuck with them is because it's like, damn, they they saying the same thing that I went through. They got beat with extension cords and, and race car tracks and high heels and shit like that. So did I. They ate. They drunk sugar water. So did we. 
They made, you know, fucking games outside, so did we. This goes from New York to, to, the, to the bottom of Mississippi. We all live the same reality, the same existence. We all get treated the same way. When I go outside and when your son go outside, he gets treated the same fucking way. We're looked at the same fucking way. But we can find way more reasons to beef than to come together. And that's one of the things that make us animals. We can't even get past, like, the fuck. Um, so they just take that. They put it right to the music industry and they monetize it. They monetize it. Um, and it's sad when you think about it. It's sad. On to this Young Chop situation. I have to break that down for you so that you can understand where we're at. I'm not just going to say, Young Chop on the internet and beef with niggas so he can come up in the rap game. You need to understand where we come from first. Why it's that way? How did it get that way? Not just going to jump into your yeah, Young Chop goddamn. No, no. He He's doing this just the same way a bitch would go fuck future. It's for money. It's for money. This is going to make me financially stable. This is why you call an artist a prostitute. Because you're giving... You're, you're, what? Come on. You not no gangster nigga. You not no hard body nigga. You know some niggas. Them niggas ain't finna die for you nigga. And he's the worst one. This fat motherfucker just like... The worst one, the, the the fat nigga who can't get no holes, or the, the ugly nigga who can't get no holes, the short nigga, the, the whatever kind of nigga who can't get no holes, what he's going to do is he'll come into a room and make it to where I, well, I can't get no holes, so I'm going to start janking this nigga, start a fight with this nigga because I got 50 niggas with me. I, that's the worst kind of nigga, man. The worst kind of nigga. That and, and and you know, like and, and, and as I just said, you know, we we always against each other. We always find a reason to to beef. But it's like my nigga, like a nigga like that 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 is that sick mentally. Like those are the people that need to be eradicated. We need those type of niggas eradicated. I guess what what because he started this whole thing off by you know. Going on live and, 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 you know, telling people which rapper was soft and all this shit like that and, and whatever. And um, just being messy. And, you know, I, it was no reason for me to talk about that shit then because I thought it was obvious to motherfuckers that he's doing this. Because every time that he would do a post like that, he would then put a post up, uh, go get my album. Because he raps now. This is all part of a fucking uh, a rollout. It's all part of a fucking rollout. It's not that, it, and it's not really that fucking unorthodox when you look at it. Like, nigga, motherfuckers that put their life on the line for less, why not put your life on the line to sell a fucking record? Just off of him doing this shit, like, like everybody in the news is covering Young Chop, Young Chop. He's not looking. It's, it's the it's the same six nine situation. You're not looking at down the line. You can't beef with all these motherfuckers. And if you can beef with all these people with no kind of repercussions, you'll fuck who you are. You must be somewhere entangled with law enforcement. Did the same way this fat motherfucker keep laughing at everything like it's fucking funny? He gonna be in a, a fucking interrogation room the same fucking way. And see, I ain't really do that. I, I ain't just explaining and shit like that. You not no fucking gangster. I hate niggas like that, dog. As soon as so you you talking about Twenty One Savage and shit like that, as soon as Twenty One getting your DM and say, "Hey, what the word is? What what we doing?" Ah, right, look what he said, y'all. Look what he said, y'all. Like a bitch. You have too many similarities to a nothing ass bitch. Not a woman, a nothing ass bitch. I'm a, I'm a screenshot and show everybody that he want me. 
if you if you claiming that he soft, this man is hitting you up behind the scene trying to see, hey, how can we get this thing shaking? Y'all both in Atlanta. How can we get this thing settled and straightened out? Where you want to meet at? And first thing you do is go to the internet with it. Like you building a fucking case. So now nothing can't happen because you putting everything online for everyone. We I, I, The fuck? We don't know that the police is online like everybody else? If you didn't know before 6 9 like you have to know now, right? But see, when you're, see, when most of, you know, the people online are people that are not experienced in the street and, 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 and their, their idea of winning a fight is who can yell louder on a live. Who makes the best jokes? Who makes the best memes? That's who that's who won the fight. They cheer, cheer, cheer up until um Nipsey Hustle get killed. Up until the point that XXX Tentation get killed. Young greatness. And the list goes on. Internet niggas. Children. Beep is all good until it go to the point that it's supposed to go to. Beep ain't to be, yeah, we, we squashed that shit. If, if you squashed it, it wasn't about shit. It wasn't about shit. Why do we even do, why do we waste our energy? What the fuck? So, what happens is, on the internet, Young Chop just start saying shit as an internet nigga. He just start saying shit because he feel like the niggas that he talking about supposed to understand. They're just, you know, this is the industry. We all supposed to talk about each other. It's WWE. I talk about you, you talk about me. We both sell albums. It's all good. But it's like, hold on, my nigga. Like, like everybody don't play like that when you can't be blowing that hard. Come on, my nigga. <clears throat> Everybody not on that WWE shit, man. Everybody don't know how to internet beef. I don't. I don't know how to, you know, like, if, if I'm mad, I don't know how to get, keep writing shit. I, what the fuck? What am I writing for? What, what, like, what we doing? Don't even really know how to argue that well. What we finna do? If it's gonna be all right, you stay away from me. I stay. Away. It's all that. That's what it is. What, what the fuck we still talking about? That should be the first fucking telltale sign that you're not dealing with a real nigga. Too much fucking talking after beef has been initiated. You you keep on talking. I'm gonna tell you, I ain't scared of this nigga because shit. I I'm gonna tell you shit. I'm I'm gonna goddamn. I'm gonna put that nigga with the right. I'm in the ass with a left. I'm gonna hit his ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whoop that nigga ass. Goddamn scoop that nigga ass up. I'm gonna slam that fuck nigga on the head. I'm gonna goddamn bow that fuck nigga. Now I'm gonna air that bitch out. I'm gonna go and air that fuck nigga out. Pull that goddamn Drake out. Gonna air that bitch out on that fuck nigga. That's what I'm gonna do. Every day. Every day. Internet nigga shit. Behind the scene, nigga, call a motherfucker. Hey, man, how we squash this, man? Getting his homeboy to call him, trying to squash the shit. Yeah, man, we going dead to that shit, man. Ain't no need for no, more black men to die, man. We got we to no, focus on the real enemy. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Nigga ain't with that shit, dog. Nigga ain't with that shit, man. And it's just, I, I don't like it, dog, because you know if a nigga was really in a nigga... If a nigga were really in a nigga present, nigga won't, like he wouldn't be with all that smiling. That shit bother me. Smiling through the internet because you know you making a nigga mad. And then you point out that a nigga is mad. You gay, my nigga. You gay. You gay. He, he mad, You mad? He mad, y'all. Since when in the fuck is it a diss for me to be mad and we about to get to, like, nigga, I'm, I'm, do you know what I'm about to do to you? You talking about mad? What the fuck 
is going on? And everybody laugh. Look at the comment section. Everybody laughing. He mad, y'all. He mad. Internet niggas. You surrounded. So it's best just not even to... I ain't got no argue for no nigga, man. I ain't got no argue for no nigga. And on top of that, I'm not going to look for no nigga. I'm not going to look for no nigga, man. I, 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 it's not... You not po Don't put no energy into you motherfucker, man. Because they're... They gonna run into what they supposed to run into. Let's go on to the to the to the next thing. I put the video up of Young Chop um, in the Walmart, just playing with people, just playing, playing. Who does that remind you of? Like playing and taunting people. Six nine, playing, 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 and that shit got him up there. Everybody looking, but it's they're not looking because they like your car. They're looking because you're driving 200 miles per hour down a busy fucking intersection. They looking because they know you're going to crash. But some people, internet niggas, are just, oh, they looking at me. I'm going to go faster. Because they've never had attention like that. But because the internet is full of internet niggas, You, it's, it's best to stay the fuck away from you, motherfucker, because it's like you can't win. You outnumbered. The same internet niggas that's pumping him up to to do the shit is gonna be the same internet niggas calling him a snitch, and then the same internet niggas who gonna come back around. Oh well, yeah, he's not really a snitch, man. If 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 they would have did that to me, I would have did the same thing. So you're online, you're looking at the comments saying that you a bitch, this nigga, oh, he mad as fuck. You're looking up and you feel like you're losing, but it's like losing to who? If you can see these motherfucker face and see what they got on and see they, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even, like, it's a whole bunch of lame motherfuckers. These are fucking nerds. But you can't see all that. And a lot of these motherfuckers, it's feds. They're feds. More of uh, social experimenting. Seeing what happens if, if I make a, a troll account. No subscribers on that motherfucker. But I'm just going to say some shit. And see if the other people. So I put a video out. And then you get a comment saying. Not all women are nothing ass bitches. And he's trying to see. If more people will come up under there and say. Yeah I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, this is a bullshit channel. I'm unsubscribing. Yeah, me too. And they're trying to get something going because they understand that internet niggas go off of the majority. They don't, they're not standing for what the fuck they believe in. They're not standing for what they think. They don't have an original thought. They're going off the majority. An internet nigga probably won't even look at a video or a channel if it doesn't have a certain amount of subscribers certain amount of views. It can have all the knowledge in the world. The secret. They're not watching it. They want to be cool. Nothing's changed from fucking high school to their real life. They want to be cool. And they can't do it in real life because they're scared to go to the club because everybody they know folk going to laugh at them like they have like, like always have. So they do it online. And the fucked up part comes in when internet niggas actually get a fucking following. When an internet nigga gets a following. Not an original thought. Nothing. They're just saying whatever the masses are saying. I'm t like that's, that's why internet niggas and police officers are pretty much the same thing to me. But so the nigga uh, chop he in the uh, Walmart and uh, he he fucking with people, he playing and shit like that, and like getting loud with people, but he's on live, getting loud with people and shit like that, and all this. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, don't don't play with me. Like, don't play with me, dog. Hey, what 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 you claim? 
if he act like that by himself in a store outside of his fucking state, what the fuck do you think he act like when he around people? He got, I guess he got a little money, whatever like that, so he paid niggas to come out with him. What the fuck you think he act like when he got them niggas out there with him? And he's not the only one. I, I'm pointing this out because it's a personality I want you to see. Very weak person. I want everybody to see this. I want everybody to see this. Yeah, man. So whatever. Um he 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 talked to some dude, and uh the dude says, and, and the dude was wrong. My nigga, if you don't, if you don't gang bang no more, don't, don't, hey, what you claim? I don't bang, I don't bang. If a nigga even asks that question, it's like, I ain't on it, my nigga. And you just keep walking forward. If that's not what you own. But then you offer this information, so now you give him an opportunity. You open the door to some bullshit happening now. Yeah, my cousin, he a GD. You know, and what the fuck did you say that for, my nigga? So he's already reading you. Us, this is a soft nigga. He looking at what you got on. He know what niggas to talk to like that. He know not to talk to certain cause nigga. Be did something some to him. He's in a, a fucking uh, uh um, what do you call this? Um, um, not residential. He's in a, a upstanding fucking neighborhood Walmart. Like, it, it's, people have to have their shit together to, in order to fucking go to this fucking Walmart. And and you playing these type of games and shit like that. So whatever, the man say that, yeah, you know, uh, my, my cousin or uh, GD, and then, so this chop say GDK, but he said with a smile on his face. Then he then he come to the, the live, like, these niggas ain't on a fucking crumb. What the fuck does that mean? These niggas ain't on a fucking crumb. So you punking that nigga out because you laughing while you saying some shit. Nigga don't know to take you serious or not. Nigga don't know what the fuck you on, man. So then the nigga say, yeah, you know, uh, uh, yeah, but I, I made crypto. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm crypto. I ain't gonna say no. I, I, I fucked the crypto. Yeah. So you know, he 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 draw me in, then he then he just fucking say crypto, okay? just to like I'm playing with you, but I'm doing this in front of people, so. Yeah. And he just thought, and then he see the nigga ain't on that, so he just, he go deeper and deeper with the shit. And then, it's like, my nigga, like, that shit so lame to me, dog. Like, it just, I'm telling you, dog, niggas like that have to be eradicated. And on some other shit, like, niggas like that have to have something done to them so they know not to play like that. But, because he's doing this for the internet, trying to promote his album, he might, it might take him to a level, I gotta, I gotta go harder. I'm gonna explain this shit away and I'm gonna go harder until a nigga murder him. And that's that mindset. This is the dangerous mindset that we have out here in 2020. This is why I'm telling y'all, it'll be a nigga like that that won't look shit like Young Chop, but he'll have that same energy about him and you walking around with him and shit like that, it might take him to get drunk to start acting like young child, but he's still acting like him. He starts some shit, and you be the motherfucker who gets shot, or you be the motherfucker who shoot a motherfucker, or hurt somebody, and now you on the fucking run. Yeah, three S's, man. This is why with this whole corona shit, whatever, motherfuckers trying they bored and shit like that, this is what I'm telling y'all. This is this is why I, I have this fucking no videos. Don't send me no videos if it don't got if it ain't about me uh, or you know you uh, share one of my videos to your you know story or some shit like that. Or uh, don't don't. I don't need no Corona videos. I don't need no uh, uh, look what she did. Look what uh, I don't need none of that. Any news you get, I get too. Don't send me no fucking videos. If you wanna holler at me, we can talk all day. We can talk all day. Hey, man, look, I had an idea about this. Man, hey, man, that, that sounds like a good idea. I'm talking to you, but don't send no fucking videos. I'm, and, and, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just got to the point. We just got a fucking shot to um, um, some teacher in Savannah, Georgia, wanting me to come um, to a 
Um, excuse me, but I, I forgot a little bit. I got a lot of shit going on, but it's, I think it's a black uh, youth class, whatever you want me to come down in. I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, we trying to work that out now. But I, he sent this shit in June, and I'm just now being able to correspond back with him because of my fucking inbox being so retarded, but mostly it's just video. Hey man, the corona is this, the corona is that. Or, or just, you know, oh, man, look what this nothing that bitch doing, man. My nigga, I can't do all these fucking videos. And I'm not gonna kill myself trying. So during this time, like I said, I wasn't even gonna do this young chop shit, but it's gotten to a point now to where I gotta speak on this. I gotta speak on it. Um, so, So, but now with this, I've I've had time to you know I'm getting more progress done with the documentary, um, more progress done um, with the the three S's book, um, just really being able to do the things that I wasn't able to do when it was nonstop news, nonstop news. Use this break. Make it productive. Make it. Ain't no such thing as bored. We grown. We always got something we can work on. Now that shit has slowed down a little bit, I'm getting like, you know, I, I need more time. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm still busy as fuck. As soon as I wake up, it's work until I go to sleep at five o'clock in the morning. But being productive during this time is what's going to put you ahead when all this shit is over with. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm getting done. Um, aside from the other shit we got going on with the, the, the music and shit like that, um, if you've been on the, uh, Instagram or Facebook and you've seen, you know, the, um, what the, the artist has been doing, um, but, I, like I said, I wouldn't, I, I ain't just covering shit to cover shit, man, you know what I'm saying, I'm not finna, you know, go ham on every nothing ass bitch, I've told you about these nothing ass bitches. I'm not gonna keep on, look at this nothing there, bitch. Look at that nothing, I, my nigga, no, no. If something is just crazy, crazy, then I'll say it, but I'm not gonna keep repeating the same things. Not gonna keep repeating the same things. So if you, like I said, all the good shit is on the Patreon, I'm still moving on the Patreon, but still that there are real, you know, just ideas I have and, and other videos I do make they go straight to the Patreon. During this time, you're going to want to be on the Patreon because that's what most of the shit is going to be at. Um, just being on YouTube, you're going you're gonna to suffer um, because ain't nobody got shit to talk about. Um, but I still got plenty of shit to talk about. Um, but I, I'm rewarding AO Nation, not just every motherfucker. I had a motherfucker say um, about the, uh, the New Orleans interview, which is uh, out on the Patreon now. Uh... Uh, why is this not on YouTube? Uh, then another nigga say, Yeah, I, um, yeah, man, I, I watch all you. Aren't we supporting you by watching your videos on YouTube? Don't you get paid from that? And it's like, see, I want both of you niggas to get the fuck unsubscribed and get the fuck from around here. If you can't pay a dollar to watch something that you want to watch, this ain't some, I'm fleeting, like, I kind of want to watch that. I, uh, no, I want to see what the fuck he dropped. I need to see this shit. But you can't spend a dollar for a whole, a whole fucking 30 days of content? Please leave. Please get the fuck. The reason why it's hard to get any money out of YouTube is because I talk the way I talk. But that's the exact reason why you fuck with me. So you're saying I should be what you want me to be, not get paid, and, and just, oh, man, they fuck with me, man. Man, you fuck with me, y'all. Man, what's up, my nigga? When I have real motherfuckers who support the show in every way that they can. Are you serious, my nigga? But that's the reason why we're in a situation we're in as a community. A nigga will like what a nigga makes. A nigga will like 
what a, uh, a, a a black woman makes. She makes a uh, incense, or he makes he, he fixes computers, or makes shirts, whatever the fuck, shoes, whatever the fuck they do. A nigga will like it, man. God damn, bro, you charge, man. God damn, bro, man. I go down here, got you love the shit, you love it. Nigga ain't charging no money for it. But you feel like it should be free because so a nigga has to just stay right here. And then niggas wonder why motherfuckers go Hollywood. You wonder why motherfuckers uh, uh, start changing their shit up so they can get to another audience. My nigga, you just said, man, I, I want to tell you a video, man. Ain't that enough? But then you go on that shit and no subscribers, no a, uh, ABI. I'm telling you, that's the fucking police, man. They're trying to start shit. A channel like mine that has, you know, the message that it has, they're trying to, anything that they can to get, I'm sure there's motherfuckers feds on my Patreon trying to start a idea up and get it to steamroll, snowball. I'm just proud of my I'm just proud of my people, man, just for not falling for dumb shit. We've had plenty of situations like that. So, but that's something else, man. Um But yeah, like I said, man, I don't like I don't like lame shit like that. I don't like niggas like that. I don't like niggas who prey on the weak. Um if you a gangster, be a gangster to a gangster. Don't be a gangster to a civilian that's minding their business. This is a civilian right here. Nigga, mind this business at the store. And this where you choose to be gangsta at? You calling out on it, it's just convenient that you calling out all the rappers and everybody soft when niggas can't really leave the house and move around like that. I don't like that shit, my nigga. I, I ain't with it. I'm just so that that's that's why I stand with the shit. Nigga tomorrow some, you know, oh man, he exposing the industry. Hey my nigga. Hey my nigga, look here. You don't get no respect from me. Because I've seen this nigga go from uh, live to live to live just fucking with people. Just fucking with people. And it just so happened he got an album right now. Come on, man. You fuck my face up. But that's what the rap shit does to you. He knows that's how you get attention. How, how else is Young Chop going to get attention to his album? He don't want to go out like, you know what I'm saying, just look just like 6 9 well I guess he is doing a 6 9 telling everybody like you tough with him he doing, he's doing the exact 6 9 he don't want to do the pranks and shit like that he can't entertain it any other way so he just playing with niggas playing with niggas and he laughs in between him playing so a motherfucker know it's not that serious so a motherfucker don't know whether he should go full speed ahead and just you know what I'm saying? Destroy this motherfucker or it's like, man, this nigga playing around. Don't take him serious. I don't like that shit, man. Be who the fuck you are. And I hate motherfuckers who smile. I hate motherfuckers who laugh when they're not, like, nothing's funny. And why the fuck are you smiling during, like, what, the, like, you trying to confuse me to make me feel like, nah, my nigga. Say that, mean that, and let's go from there. And that's what it is, man. Um, been a rap trap. Make sure you go to the Patreon. Um, we're going to continue to put shit on that motherfucker. Um, I think we got up to like 105 videos on there. Unseen videos. Um, so when you go over there, you will have plenty of shit to binge watch and shit like that. If you ain't on a Patreon by now, you just, you just really missing out. Um... Like I said, my lieutenant, salute to y'all. Uh, I put this idea on the uh, Patreon for the lieutenants uh, earlier today and told them what I was thinking about doing, and they gave me some feedback and let me know I should definitely go ahead and do it. Um, and that's one of the perks of being a um, lieutenant. It's, you know, we we get to talk a little bit deeper and shit like that. Um, and also, the uh, sending me messages and shit like that on the Patreon is a lot more respected. Um, so make sure you hit the cash app, make sure you hit the PayPal. Um, I appreciate the love. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love.